Alright, so here we are down in the shop. Sorry if it's a little loud. That's the, uh, the dehumidifier right over there that's going to work, which is also going to help draw some of the humidity out of the air, so it should help make uh, the bubble reduction in the overall casting. Using Mold Star, this is 15 slow. Uh, gives you 50 minutes to work with it once you've poured it, and it's a demold time of four hours, which is fine because I don't plan on messing with anything tonight. So I plan on doing some more work down here. So I'm just gonna clear a little spot. I guess we'll just put that. I guess we can move it after the fact. Plastic mixing cups. Um, it's pretty well ventilated down here. Rubber gloves for safety. Uh, respirator just in case. Um, I'm going to use plastic cups because it's not porous. It won't impart anything onto the, uh, the mold, the silicone itself. Uh, I've got a, just a plastic, this may look metal, this is just a cheap plastic knife. Um, mold Star Part A, Part B, it's one to one by volume. So um, I don't have graduated cups, but uh, this is just a trial set, by the way. So I'm just going to kind of uh, eyeball this here using these cups. I'm not exactly sure how much I need. You know what? Actually, I'm not going to eyeball it because I've got a scale right here. If it works, there we go. So we're just going to do equal parts by volume using the scale. Put the cup on here. Tear the weight. This is part, we'll start with part A, just because it makes alphabetical sense. Um, okay, here goes. This is a first for me, guys. So, let's put the mask on so you won't be able to hear me for a little bit, but you basically see I'm going to pour equal parts A into one cup, B into another cup, mix them up in the third cup, pour it in here, hopefully it's enough to cover the mold. If not, we'll have to make more, but that's the bonus of having a 50-minute hot life. So here goes. Five ounces. Another five. I'm going to mix them up here. You may want to put a towel or something down on the floor so you don't put the silicone all over there. You can clean that up afterwards. I'm just going to mix this here till we get kind of a uniform color. These are clear cups, so I can see that it's not fully uniform just yet. You may also want something a little sturdier than this because this knife is bending pretty bad when I'm stirring here. Pretty thick. We're going to try to see if we can make the mold now. Hopefully, we made enough. If not, I guess we got to go back to the drawing board. I'm a little worried because it kind of got this mottled green color rather than a solid nice green, which is worry number one for me.
second is I can sort of see the clay outline a little bit on this one side. So I'm thinking we may need to make up some more. I think we're just going to do it the old-fashioned way by eyeballing it. I also may have wanted to pour a mold release on that clay, but I didn't. So we're going to see what happens. Two more. Let's go up to four. I also don't know if mixing molds like this is going to cause a problem. But again, this is a first time. And this is a first time user's guide. It also looks a lot thinner than the other stuff did. I'm assuming it's better? I don't know. So to try to help move any air bubbles out. You can see, you can't see it from there, but there are a bunch of air bubbles coming to the surface. Thanks for coming along for a noob's ride to mold making. Tune in next, eh, tune in tomorrow when we try a noob's guide at resin casting. Later, nerds.